Guys, we're going to take a look at this Matse Basilisk. And I got to tell you, it's a great knife with a really hard to pronounce name. So stand by to the end for some B-roll. But you can see just some of the little clippets of this knife. We're going to take a good close look at this from above. So let's turn this around. Maybe I'll get it right this time. I've mispronounced it. This is the Basilisk by Matt Say Knives. And this is the first day I've had it in my pocket. This thing is a very, very well-made knife. Um, I did have to use a lifeline and call a friend to have them look up blade steel for me. It's the only thing I know about this knife other than it is done by Matt Say Knives. I, or it is a Matt Say brand knife. I don't know who makes it, but it is an M390 blade. So you're looking at M390 titanium, gorgeous machining, beautiful beautiful micarta on this nicely done honeycomb and everything on this it is a m390 clip point blade with a very very well done grind that comes down to a nice behind the edge thickness i cleaned this up i did a good bit of cutting with this um earlier today just light cutting i'm not going to say that i did a bunch of uh heavy duty cutting and things like that just some light cutting to see how I liked how it performed. It's got a really nice edge profile, thumb studs and flipper. So you can use thumb stud or flipper on this. And it's got a unique hidden flipper. I, I like where the flipper tab is. It's just enough to give you really, really good snap open because it's got great, great action. But then the flipper tab completely disappears. And then it comes into these beautifully done titanium bolster style uh, handles where you have the one piece construction with a inlay, basically an overlay of micarta that gives you that bolster look. And then your lock is, your lock bar is completely hidden except for one little spot that comes up and gives you that bolster lock. Uh, lock up on it is great. There is no play any direction. And, uh, the action on it is really good. Does not take a lot to deploy this knife. Just shy of drop shut. Um, and the flipper action is easy to deploy. It does not take a lot. This is a nice thick knife. I like it because it does fill my hand real well. So it's the ergos on it are great and comfortable. Um, you've got this big area here where your lock bar cutout is, which you have really good access to the lock bar. There is no issue with that having access to that lock bar like that. Um, when you've got it open, that acts like a finger choil almost. You can get in on it, and it's really comfortable to cut with it that way. Um, but if you were wanting to choke up, a lot of times I am critical of knives that have this big gap right here. Because when you get up in there, then you have this weirdness to the way it aligns with the cut. That is not the case with this one. You put your middle finger in here, index finger here, up on the back of the knife, and it is great. It almost feels like a finger choil. It really feels comfortable in hand. Uh, so this one is not going to have that issue that I talk about a lot of times. Um, as far as how the blade cuts, it's not super, super thin behind the edge, but it's got a very nice factory grind on it that cuts very well. Nice sharpening toil well away from the plunge. And all the lines and everything in, on this are just really really good. You can use your thumb to flip off of that. That's something I like being able to do that. There's another knife that Jared sent me that came in that has got kind of a similar style. It's just on a different part. So this is a back flipper. This is a front flipper. This is that Katsu knife. And you can do a lot of different things with that flipper. Um, this one, I like the fact that I can flip it like that. It actually is a very nice and satisfying means of deployment. Thumb studs are in a really good position. They're not too sharp. The detent's not too hard, so it's easy to deploy. And you can reverse flick off of the dual-sided thumb studs with your middle finger. So not much else going on on this so far that I found first in pockets, but I like a lot about this. There are a couple small things that I don't like about the knife, as there always is with pretty much every knife. We're going to turn this around after you guys hear from Coffee Brand Coffee, and we'll talk about just the little minor things I found on this. I know that no one likes to watch ads in the middle of a video. I don't like putting them in, but I do know that I got to support what I do here, so I partnered with companies that I know I can trust. And today's sponsor is Coffee Brand Coffee. They're delivering 
quality coffee, freshly roasted on demand, ground to order and delivered to your door. And they're not doing anything political. So you don't have to worry about a company that you're that you're supporting that is supporting causes that you might not agree with because they don't support any causes. They just simply take the money and put it back into making a better product. So I would appreciate it if you both support their new small business and my channel by checking out Coffee Brand Coffee and looking at their offerings. Use the link below and my coupon or my coupon code Crazy Sharp on their website. It's Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S. Let's get back to this. Okay. These are all going to be some really minor things. While this is a very gorgeous, gorgeous knife, it has a couple things that I don't like about it. Um, and one of them being that it is a very gorgeous knife and it has something that I don't like. Um, the big one for me is I'm not a fan of these long pocket clips. While this in and out of pocket is great and it's comfortable in hand, that long pocket clip, um, I'm filming this a little bit after I had to run uh, my daughter to, uh, to drop her off so my wife could take her skating and I got out of the car and these bigger, longer pocket clips, I have a tendency to catch them on my seat belt a lot more easily than a shorter pocket clip. So um, almost bent this. I felt it start to go when I started to get up or when I started to take my seat belt off, I started to feel it pull out. So pocket clip, not a big fan of long pocket clips. The next thing is I kind of understand why they did it because your flipper tabs right there. You don't want a hard edge where your finger is going to drop in. But when I'm holding this knife like this, it feels kind of skinny in there it just kind of feels it's not awkward or anything it just does not feel the way i want it to it really doesn't um and then next thing there is no sharp spot here i'm typically not a fan of these hard angled cutouts on a lock bar like that but on this one where it's at is right here um that's a little bit harder edge i don't know how they could go about not doing this this is the issue with these um bolster locks like this maybe if they had brought this line back further so it wasn't so far up in or something they would have had that pressure but it would have taken away from the striking lines of the knife it's not horrible it's not like super sharp and if if i'm in the if i'm holding the knife like this and using it for heavy cutting don't even feel it it's when i'm up in it like this and then the final thing as you guys probably saw coming this knife is beautiful this is a gorgeous striking knife right why would you put a big ugly hole in it? You have this big backspacer where you could have done something that is much, much more manageable where you have a pin. Hang on a second, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. This QSP Legatus has a really clean feel to it, just like that backspacer. Um, and they just basically milled out an area and put a pin in there for you to wrap your lanyard around versus just an ugly hole that breaks up the clean line. This has some really clean, really good lines on this knife and it just breaks it up. I'm not saying I don't want you guys to have an option for a lanyard. I'm just saying I wish it wasn't an ugly option. That is a much more attractive, uh, much more attractive option in, in my, in my, in my opinion, or like a lot of other companies do it where it is a separate pin like this one on this Wii knife, or it's its own separate pin that sits inside the scales. So that's it though, guys, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I love this knife. I'm hoping to get to cut with, oh, I did notice something um, that just as I was moving stuff, there's a little bit of a hiccup misgrind on the tip, not such a big deal, but I, I would probably rectify that in the first sharpening. Um, it, it happens. I imagine this is production style, uh, knife that's done OEM, but I'm not sure. I have no idea price point. We'll find all that later when I do the full on review. So let's turn this around, do some final thoughts to send you guys out about your day. Yeah, guys, great, great knife. Stay tuned to the B-roll. I had a hard time getting down Basilic. Uh, so editor Mike stepping in to tell you, yes, I mispronounced it in the outro, even with all that work. It is not Basilisk. It's Basilisk. It's a mythological creature. I looked it up. So now back to the outro. I don't know why. It's a mythological creature. I don't know why I had such a hard time with it. But yeah, this knife is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to spend some time in pockets here for a while from Jared. Uh, so I'm sure you're going to see some more about it. The, there might be things that I change my mind about. There may be things that I find later that I don't like. But uh, as of right now, I'm pretty sure the pocket clip issue is going to stay. Uh, I just don't like the longer pocket clips. So, guys, if you want to support the channel, I have a bunch of ways to get it. The free way to do it is give a like on the video. Likes and subs do not cost you anything. They are free 99 um, but they absolutely do help the channel, support the channel. Make sure you've got the bell icon turned on as well. 
I have got a sponsors. I've got a couple sponsors. Uh, Tempered Trail is a channel sponsor. You haven't seen any ads from them because I haven't gotten any of their products in to do anything on, but um, they have great, great shoelaces and stuff. I know the guy that runs the company, Coffee Brand Coffee. You can use my coupon code Crazy Sharp at either one of those. The coffee, it actually works way better if you just use the link down below if the code is built in. I have an Amazon store where you guys can take that pin at your browser, use it for any Amazon shopping you're gonna do. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout and it absolutely does support the channel. I have got links down below for Blade HQ where you can just search knives, search knives and things down there as well as GP Knives, Knives Ship Free. They're down there. They get you the same, they support the channel the same way. And I have a membership here on YouTube. It's tier-based. Everyone has access to a Gilded server, which is just a chat server where everyone hangs out, lots of different rooms, building friendships across the world. I give, I do giveaways on the Gilded server for the baseline and premium tier guys. And the t premium tier guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube. Guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I'll see you next time. Guys, this is the Matse Ballistic. That's not. Guys, this is the Matse Ballistic. Basil Basilic, 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 Basilic. Guys, this is the Matt Say Ballis. Not this. That's not it. This is the Matt Say. Shit, I almost dropped it. <laughs> Slippery hands. Guys, this is the Matt Say Basilic. And I have tried so hard to get that out. Uh, it is a great, great knife. So we're going to take a look at this Balit Basilic. Uh, I'm, I'm looking it up. Uh, what is a basilic? It's not even in there. Hey, that's not, I don't think it's even a word.